In this video, we sail from Gibraltar across the Atlantic Ocean and show you what an Atlantic initiation looks like. This is part three of our Atlantic Crossing mini-series. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of these epic videos. Here we go. The deck guys are all working on the on the pool at the moment. They've got the sanding machines out. That's the noise you can hear. That's not a, a hive of bees. Uh, and they are working as hard as bees though. Getting the, the teak steps in the pool looking nice and good. We've got Maddie also doing some repairs. We've got a bit of a leak in the pool. So he's just having a look at that and trying to uh, sort that out for us. Hopefully it'll be good as gold for, for the Caribbean. Uh, Blair's going to just show you around here, give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on. What are you guys up to? We are currently reorganizing and redistributing our guest linen into our guest cabins to prep for our Caribbean season. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So we've just packaged them all up in Ziplocs according to their cabins with their correct sets and then in the shipyard the girls are going to relabel them with snap tags so they're good to go for the next season sweet do you guys have a, a long list of stuff to do for the shipyard yes we do courts um works off an app called to do that she leaves list for us to go over and get done um yeah it basically covers all the interior areas and we just have to plot through it during the crossing and hope that it's not rough. <laughs> yeah, you two I think struggle the most out of anyone in the rough no. season. <laughs> that was me once. <laughs> maybe, maybe just Paige, not me. It was two days and it isn't going to happen again. <laughs> okay. I won't tell anyone it does. <laughs> it's frowned upon to be seasick at sea, apparently. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you found it out. <laughs> Sweet. Well, thank you guys. I'll check in with you later. Thank you. Okay, so I'm pretty lucky to have the sunset watch. The, um, the only thing I have to do w before I hand over to the captain is I have to kind of just set everything into night mode. I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Um, firstly, I turn on the nav lights. This is our nav lights panel. Um, I turn on the port, starboard, foremast, main mast head, and the stern light. Uh, here it indicates that they're on. If it doesn't go on, it'll alarm and I'll know. Here is just our exterior lighting. I just put on the main ceilings and the side decks um, just in case anybody does need to go outside at night. Then moving over here, we have our nav techs. Um, all I have to do is hit down the dim button. We have our depth sounder. I, all I have to do there is turn it down. Then we have GPS 2. We have GPS 1. We have the AIS. Then that's dim enough. And then here we have the sat C. I just have to dim that down a bit. Then we come over to the Ectus. Um, all I do here is it has settings on it where I can choose between daylight, dusk, evening, or night. Um, I put it on night. The green's a lot easier on the eye than the rest of the colors. On the time zero, I usually just put down this one on dusk um, and then that's that's good to go then we come around we come into our radars over here um, I turn this into red because red at night is also a lot easier on your eyes um, then we come over to our conning station over here put that on dusk and then I can just dim it with the brilliance over here and then we come over here to our ectus same thing we just put this one in night mode and then same with this radar over here onto red and then that's about it uh when ben comes in everything's ready good to go and then i'll just hand over to him all of the equipment i just showed you is our primary source of navigation but looking out the window um, you might see something that the the equipment doesn't pick up so the more you dim it the better you can see outside and we still do have a moon out at the moment, so it kind of does make it clear outside. What do you have to say, Paigey? I'm loving it. 
That's <laughs> <laughs> fine. Your hair grows back. Grow. No, hair grows back. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It doesn't quite have the effect yet, but it will. <laughs> Says Mali. <laughs> That's classic. Nice job, baby. <laughs> Good yeah, one. We'll see how much trouble we get in. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Sorry, Paul. So the deck boys have opened up some paint jobs, as you can see. Quite a bit of the rust here that we're just going to fix up. So they'll sand this right down, get some primer on it, a bit of filler, and then some paint on top of that. So not too much is different since the last time we were here. The boys are just trying to get everything cleaned up in the pool. The boys have taken uh, the benches and all the supports for the benches completely out. They were sanding the actual benches last time. Those are all done and they're now cleaning up what was underneath the benches over there. Filling those holes up and just making sure that we get rid of those pesky leaves. Paint work being done inside here, which is quite cool to see. Yozo? Hey! What's happening? Nothing left. <laughs> As you see, still running cables, so look. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. Yeah. I see you've got all the decades back up here, yeah, which is we, good. Yeah, just uh, recently we put them all back, so I don't want to mix them up. Ah, I see. So it's basically, it's better that we, especially five sensors and the stuff, that it's a minimum time, they basically, they are I saving see. off. So now it looks like... No, no, it looks like a yacht again. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a yacht again. Yeah. Like nobody works anything. Nobody yeah. touches anything. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Thanks, Yosa. Girls are still working out with Franco. Yeah, just everyone's in their own little routines. So it's all, it's all happening. Hello, hello. Hello. What's going on over here? Okay, so we got a bit of a healthy dinner. Um, so I've got a lentil salad over here, and then a tomato, avo, and flaxseed salad over here, and then some roast spicy potatoes, and then some roast mixed vegetables, and then I had a chicken schnitzel, and then grilled chicken for the healthy people, and a mushroom sauce, and some lemon. Sweet, thank you oh. so much. This looks epic. <laughs> Ooh, everyone's gonna be stoked. Good to go. Cool. Stick it in the dumb waiter. Yep, yep. What you up to, Davey? It's, it's my it's my pirate telescope for you. You're gonna do a little position update for us like this. Arr shiver me timbers. <laughs> Losing it on day five. Day eh? five and we're already going crazy. Trippy. Whoa, with the artwork going on there. Yeah, how crazy. That's supposedly all the currents in the Atlantic Ocean. Anyway, welcome back. Um, we are on day five of the crossing. All's going well. We actually still are having some awesome seas. Uh, the wind's been a bit behind us today, so it's been, been really hot for the boys out on deck, but uh, they've been grafting hard and it's all, all going well at the moment. For tomorrow is uh, just keep going, eh? Keep, just keep, you know, just keep the keep engine moving. running and just, just keep moving towards the United States of America. If you want to come over here and have a quick look at the weather, not a lot's changed. Um, you know, as we get closer to these uh, two big systems, the predictions become more and more trustworthy. Um, so this is the latest. What we're hoping to do is just tuck in, tuck in south. Uh, these all move in a north, northerly direction, you know, they can go west initially or northwest, and but ultimately they end up going towards the, the the north so the plan for us is just to tuck underneath that first one and then head due west straight after that maybe uh, pick up a couple of knots if we need to because uh, just behind us uh, there is a system developing down here track forward in the days here you can just see it starts to brew brew up behind us and then it just kind of chases after us there something to keep an eye on uh, but we will be doing that very closely with uh, our weather router guys who are, who are based in um, in Florida and um, yeah they're sending us regular updates and, and suggestions on, on the best uh, path to take so yeah Okay, do you talk us through what you've got here? We've got some hummus and veg, couscous, chickpea salad, and tacos. Tacos for the boys. Tacos for the girls. 
Classic classic. That's a, a regular one. That's a standard. <laughs> Basically Paige and I are in charge of crew mates over the crossing. And after every meal we pack up lunch or dinner or breakfast, whatever meal it is, clean up the platters and restock everything every Friday. How's your crossing been so far? Have you been enjoying it? Yeah, it's been good. Paige and I are in a good routine of um, getting through Courtney's list and exercising with Franco every afternoon oh, on board PT. Yeah. Loving the Franco. I think he's enjoying the beauty workouts more than we are. Yeah. <laughs> Paige, do you know what's coming in a couple days, eh? I've caught wind of the smell coming from the generator room. <laughs> it has something to do with what you're cleaning up now. Yep. <laughs> well, I'm taking every little bit I can and not putting yeah. the slops like it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, so it is day six today. I'm here with Chief Officer Davey in the bridge. Um, I'll show you a look outside the window, but the weather has deteriorated a bit. A little bit lumpy bumpy today, a bit of wind up, but it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, while, while the weather's not great for everyone, we're going to do something fun just to get morale up a bit and ask a, a fun question around the crew. I haven't even told Davey what it is, so he's probably quite confused. But Davey, what is the first thing you're gonna do when once we get to West Palm? Have a beer. I think that's what everyone's gonna say to you. I think it's a dumb question. I disagree. I disagree. <laughs> I mean, it is my answer. That's what I would have said. But, yeah. but. I think that's what probably ever, at least all the boys are going to say. Well, first of all, I'm going to make sure there's cold beers in that one. And then we'll probably all crack a beer, eh? That's probably the first thing we'll do. And then I'll go to gym. Yeah. Beers. <laughs> beers. <laughs> Can't wait. I'm going to crack open a beer. Having an ice cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna down a Moscow mule. I'm going straight for a mango white claw. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we're getting our hair done. Both uh. <laughs> got to the same place. <laughs> um, and probably crack a ranch water. A ranch water? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. okay. Oh, pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about it so much. I'm like, hmm. Okay, okay, yeah. fair, fair enough. <laughs> And then, of course, a beer or a glass of wine. <laughs> Again, facts. Alrighty, welcome back. It's day seven of our Atlantic crossing here. Coming up on halfway pretty much now. Uh, tomorrow will probably be halfway. Uh, a little encounter with uh, Neptune. But uh, you'll have to wait and find out more about that. In the meantime, I wanted you to see sort of the latest weather here. As you can see, we're now due south of of this big system here and um, we're just waiting for this system i mean we're not waiting but this system is going to slowly start moving up to the north um, which will allow a nice clear passage uh, into west palm we'll get a little bit of residue swell um, but that's nothing, nothing that will kill us we hope do you want to tell us about our ship count at the moment what's happening there uh, i don't know if we explained the ship count before but basically uh before we left gibraltar we all um guessed how many ships we thought we'd see for the crossing then once we were 12 hours outside of gibraltar we uh, started the ship count and then we'll end it 12 hours before we uh make la well basically before we get to um the bahamas bit of a stab in the dark but it's a fun everyone puts a bit of money in and uh Basically, the winner has to buy the first round of drinks, so you get your you get your money back the other <laughs> way. Um, so at the moment we're on ten. Uh, after seven days, uh, we saw one boat yesterday. Other than that, we haven't seen boats for like four days. So it's uh, yeah, it's it's pretty dire out here. Not much company. <laughs> I know that you have the lowest guess, don't you? I do have the lowest Ooh. guess, so uh, at the moment I'm, I'm in the money, but it just all depends on, on what we see as we get closer to, to uh, Got the Bahamas. You. Yeah, so basically that's our ship count game, um, and that's all I've got for you today, but stay tuned because day 8 is going to be a day of 
meeting up with Neptune and hopefully turning some pollywogs into shellbacks. Hey everyone, today is day number eight of our Atlantic crossing and that puts us about right exactly in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Um, we're taking the opportunity because of that to give some of our crew who have never done an Atlantic crossing a bit of an initiation into the, uh, the kingdom of the sea, we'll call it. Um, traditionally, that's done by ships uh, going back about 400 years ago when they would cross the equator. A uh, crew that had never crossed the equator before would be, be subject to the same sort of initiation. In modern days, we've sort of adopted the same tradition uh, into yachting. It gives us a chance to um, have a little bit of fun with the crossing. And most yachts don't actually get the opportunity to cross the equator that frequently. So it gives us another reason to do it. Um, we've got about seven crew today. Our chief officer, Davey, has prepared a really nice uh, little ceremony initiation. There might be an appearance um, by King Neptune and nothing too torturous. It should be pretty fun, chill, mellow, and something that these guys are really going to remember for the rest of their lives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the boys have not told me anything. I have no idea what's going on. Um, I'm obviously one of the people that's getting initiated. I've just been told where to put the cameras and when to press record. So we'll try and do this as best as possible, but I have no idea what's going on. I'll take you with and hopefully we get some good footage of this. What's happening guys? How's it going? Welcome back to the vlog. So about halfway into the Atlantic, as you can see, absolutely nothing. Um, but yeah, so we got some slops here. We have another one over here. Just look at that, looks delicious. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start blending it up now. I'm gonna put you up there and you guys are gonna watch. But um, yeah, this is gonna be nasty. Gonna sting. Calamari mixed with some oat milk and I'm um, gonna make these guys some nice little necklaces because this is gonna be nasty it's all of our necklaces made I'm gonna mix them in with all the, the goodies oh this is rank Right, so we're, uh, we're just um, getting all prepped for Neptune's visit. It's a special occasion when he comes, so we like to get all his favorite things together. He loves, loves ice cold water. You know, the sea temperature around here is pretty warm, so we like to get a bucket full of ice. Oh, there we go. That's perfect, eh? He's a big fan of, of leftovers, you know, leftover food. So if you, if you come with us, we'll, uh, we'll give you a little show of of what, what we've got prepared for dinner. You could smell, but I can smell right now. Oh, I, uh. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. Yeah, that, that doesn't smell great, eh? No. But it's what Neptune loves, you know? He only comes and visits us once at crossing. Right. We like to give him what he wants. Ooh. We're gonna sacrifice a whole bunch of pollywogs to him today. And this is like the gravy that he likes to put on top of his polywogs before he consumes them. So I'm glad I'm not a polywog. I'm glad I've turned into a shellback. It's a good place to be. Les on the other side of the camera now. He's not a happy chap and I can understand why. You'll find out soon enough too. That goes like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Dom, yeah. what are we about to do? We are about to uh, make five crew members today pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Happy about this. <laughs> Especially you, Jamie. Let's get him. He's just taking his underwear off. He doesn't want him stinking for the next two weeks. <laughs> Not a bad chance. Honestly, I'm not worried about the food or anything. I'm just worried about other people throwing up around me. 
What about you, Blair? You know what's going on. I've seen everything so far. It looks really, really fun. I'm so excited for this. And the off deck already smells like black water. Franco's made a rookie mistake. What's he doing? Making food. He's making food. Oh, he's going to have drink. He's going to. Oh, it's not milk he's using, is it? <laughs> Sorry. Frank. Adding to the slots. Oh, we'll be seeing that again. <laughs> And so I give you Loon's Salty Crazy Crew and soon you'll learn that in one foul swoop they'll dose you with all things that'll make you squirm! Here we go! Oh, that's so hot! <laughs> From Pollywogs to Shellback, ye do turn! And name salty sea dogs you do not win! <laughs> well done guys thank you so much for making it to the end of this video we really hope that you enjoyed it if you want to see more of these amazing videos please make sure that you're subscribed next week will be part four of our crossing mini series where we arrive in west palm beach florida let us know in the comment section what you thought of the video but that's it for now cheers from the loon crew